Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to determine the volume of rectangular prisms. So for the first two pages, you're going to take notes with me, and then there'll be some problems for you to try, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright? So to find the volume of a rectangular prism, what you do is you take the base, the area of the base, and you multiply it by the height. So let's write that down. So volume equals the area of the base times the height. So the question now is, what's the base? Well, this is a rectangular prism, right? So the rectangle on the bottom, right, this right here is the, the base of, of the shape. So why don't you color that in for me? So the way we find the area of the base of a rectangle is you multiply the length times the width, okay? So to find the volume, it's really going to be just the length times the width times the height. And that's just a matter of carefully plugging in the values. So the volume is going to be 8 times 3 times the height, which is 8. And 8 times 3 is 24. And 24 times 8, 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 16 plus 3 is 19. So the volume of this shape is going to be 192 cubic inches. And so again, this 3 is really important right here. Okay, because because we're talking about a shape that has three dimensions and has volume, that has to be a three. If that was a two, we'd just be talking about uh, area. All right, so let's turn the page. And this problem is going to show you how to find an unknown dimension when the volume is given. Okay, so the direction state says determine the height of the rectangular prism provided the length, width, and volume. Okay, so this time we're trying to figure out what the height of the shape is when we know the, the length, width, and also the volume. So the volume of the shape, so the volume of this shape is 450 cubic inches. Let's write that down. So the volume is 450 cubic inches. All right, and for any of these problems, you always want to write down the formula. So volume equals length times width times the height. So now it's just a matter of carefully plugging in what we know. So we know the volume is 450, so it's going to be 450 equals, well, our length is 9, so 9 times our width is 5, 5, and our height, that's the unknown. So now 450 is going to equal, well, 9 times 5 is 45, so it's going to be 45 times h. Now we need to do a little algebra here, so I'm going to divide both sides by 45, and 450 divided by 45 gives us 10. And there's our answer. So if you know the length and the width and the volume, you can always solve for the height. How about if, if you know the height and the width, well, you can also uh, so then solve for the length if you know the volume. All right. So now that you, that you know a little more about uh, the volume of rectangular prisms, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play. And you can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these practice problems. So this first problem, you had to find the volume. And so we know the length, the width, and the height. So I've already written down the formula. So I'm going to just plug in the values. So 11 is the length, times 5 is the width, times 6 is the height. And when I do 11 times 5 times 6, I get 330. So the volume of the shape is 330 cubic centimeters. And remember, you need to have that 3 as a label to represent volume. Now, in this diagram, we have another rectangular prism. And we know the volume, but we're trying to find the length. So let's plug in what we know. So we know the volume is 384 equals the length times, well, the width is 4. And the height is 8. So 4 times 8 gives you 32. So this is now going to be 32L equals 384. And when I divide both sides by 32, well, 32 goes into 384 exactly 12 times. So that means the length is going to be 12 inches. And notice, this length is just one dimension, right? So that's why our label is only inches. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?